Hello, my name is Faith Baldwin, and I just want to thank you for attending my speech or being my audience, if you want to say. My proposal is the U.S. government should help to keep this self-defense law low without disruption. Coming to this time, coming to this era or century, whatever you want to call it, self-defense is very important. Don't get me wrong, it is important. What I'm trying to say is self-defense gets taken too far and saying it gets too far with using guns, physical, very physical, violent, or maybe we should just use verbal, verbal warnings, anything like that. CNN stated, Kyle Rittenhouse, teenager accused of killing two people and shooting on the unarrest in Kenosha. Kyle Rittenhouse was holding a gun, walking down a protest, guarding his friend's car lot. He decided to use that gun as self-defense and shoot three people. What did that lead to? That led to death, that led to injury, one of them is injured and still healing. So he used that gun to completely take someone's life just because he was defending himself. Self-defense is a good thing, but can be taken really far. Like I said about the CNN, Kyle took a, took a life. So as in my mind, that is being taken too far. As lawyer... Adam R. Banner stated in his article about Oklahoma self-defense laws, while all states allow the use of reasonable force and protection of the castle doctrine, Oklahoma and other states broaden self-defense laws by initiating stand your